Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotza C and I welcome you to the ninth episode of my Whitewater Kayaking Guide through Greece. The one sure place where to meet other paddlers in the spring is the camping ground in Plaka managed by Nikos. This is also a good location for a base camp and an opportunity to exchange information on water levels and which rivers are running. The huge Arachtos, which means pandemonium, is one of the longest rivers. With regards to its water level, it's pretty safe. As you can imagine, there are several sections on the Arachtos and its tributary Calariticos, and I paddled only a few of them. As there are quite a few kayak videos of these two, I will keep it brief, but you can always check out my previous videos on these two rivers. The first section contains the upper canyon. The put-in is at the bridge between Karpsi and Trosohori. When we came from Metsovo, the way through Karpsi was straightforward. Coming from Plaka through Drosohori, we had some trouble finding the right way, so maybe even from Plaka the approach from the other riverside is preferable. The first few kilometers flow through an open valley with a Turkish bridge leading apparently to nowhere. After 5 kilometers, the upper gorge starts and you are truly alone for the next 7 kilometers with yourself and goats. You have no idea how they manage to climb down. While there are some spots that might cause you some trouble, especially when you are distracted by goats, there is nothing to fear at low water levels. With more power, it will get more difficult. The Cordiola Bridge marks the end of the first section. The second one starts right off with the Milky Way. It is best to take a look at it from the left side so that you can figure out the way between the huge boulders. There are multiple options and depending on the water level the left or the right side look more interesting. What you should avoid is missing the last eddy to portage and then doing the drop backwards. there is the second part of the Milky Way which is shorter, less steep and offers a clearer path. From here on down the canyon walls recede and you can give chase to the swarms of gulls resting on the gravel banks. Some kilometers further down the Calariticos flows in from the left. With the additional water the river becomes more fun again and offers various play spots. Till the bridge of Fortosio a Melechori, the walls become more steep again. The first two sections, being 21 kilometers in total, can be combined, and the Great Canyon of the Arachtos, which lies between this bridge and Plaka, can be combined with the Calariticos especially when putting in on the lower Calariticos, as we always did. The bridge of Fortosio Ambelohori is best approached on the good road on the west side of the river. At the restaurant Hippocrates or Ipothroth in Greek, you turn right and follow the narrow and steep road down to the river. 
From here, the Putin on the Kalaritikos at the bridge of Michalitsi can be reached by climbing up the other valley side again. However, coming from Plaka, the direct route is much better and faster. Even on the first few meters of the Kalaritikos, you can feel the difference to the less steep Arachtos, which also lacks the power on most stretches. You can feel the power and the steeper gradient by the countless holes that you want to avoid even at low water levels. With more water this can be quite intense. After a bend with a rope bridge you approach the Grand Canyon of the Calariticos. At moderate to high water levels the entry through the corkscrew can be a bit nerve-wracking and swimming here is not recommended, as eddies downstream that allow emptying the boat are far and few in between. From here on the gradient reduces, but due to the narrow nature it can still be quite pushy. Once the immediate rock walls step back they leave room for lush green tropical-like forest and vegetation. That's why it's also called the Green Canyon. The part from its confluence into the Arachtos we have already seen, so let's skip ahead. At the bridge starts the section of the big Arachtos Canyon. But before that there are a few waterfalls over moss-covered rocks and cataracts that require carefulness at higher water levels. The canyon itself is 2 kilometers long with vertical cliffs on both sides but no really difficulties once you have reached the actual entry besides some pushy water. The canyon opens up quite suddenly into the basin of Plaka. You can either exit the river near the camping ground below the road bridge or above it on the left side near the location where there was a Turkish bridge some time ago. I hope you enjoyed this video, coordinates and other information you find below the video. This is it for now, so see you soon in the next one.